Bill Butera, and we are here today at the Recreation Department's exercise room. Our goal today is to talk about our weight equipment orientation program, which is conducted here once or twice a month for groups of two to 12 people. This is highly recommended for all our new members. Weight equipment orientation is a one half hour class and it is available to all property owners. You do not have to be a recreation member to attend this class. Weight equipment orientations are scheduled weekdays, usually in the afternoons at two o'clock. But if you happen to be working folks, we can certainly make other arrangements to give you a class at another time. You can sign up for weight equipment orientation either online or at the wellness center reception desk. Now weight equipment orientation seeks to accomplish two goals. The first of those is to tell you what the elements of a well-structured fitness program are. And the second thing is to actually show you how to operate our cardio and strength machines. Your fitness program should contain four elements, the most important of which is strength or resistance training. And this is done here in the Wellness Center by using our 15 Cybex strength training machines and dumbbells. The second element of any program would be cardiovascular training. And that is done here in the gym using treadmills, recumbent and upright bikes, elliptical or cross trainers, and, and we also have two rowing machines. The third element of any exercise program are balance exercises. And the fourth element of a program would be stretching and flexibility. So let's talk a little bit about resistance or strength training. This is really the most important of the four elements for our particular age group. After age 50, we start losing muscle mass and strength. The good news is that strength training restores lost strength. Playing golf, pickleball, swimming, tennis, by itself is not enough to prevent this loss of strength. So you must do strength exercise training. The goal is to perform two to three resistance training sessions per week. And the objective is to exercise all major muscle groups. And that would include legs, chest, back, arms, abdominals, and shoulders. During weight equipment orientation, we will demonstrate proper adjustment and operation of all 15 Cybex machines. Here is a preview of how we will demonstrate each machine. This is the leg press Cybex machine. You'll see it has number 62 on the side of the machine. That corresponds with number 62 on the workout sheet where it says Cybex leg press. On this sheet, you would record the date of your workout and the weight you used and the repetitions that you did on the machine. This is the most important machine in our gym, the Cybex leg press machine. I consider it to be the fountain of youth for leg strength. Maintaining leg strength keeps you functional well into your 90s. Loss of leg strength is a major cause of falls and fractures in seniors. One of our members is 103 years old and he's using these Cybex machines. Each Cybex machine will tell you what the machine, which muscles the machine exercises. This one says leg press. It will also show you in very dark red all the muscles the machine exercises. On this particular machine, you'll notice that it shows the front of the thigh and the back of the thigh. Those are the quadriceps and the hamstrings. And it shows the rear end, the gluteus maximus. So this is a great machine because it does a terrific job hitting all three of the major leg muscle groups. Every machine is also going to show you how to perform the exercise. And this top picture here shows shows how you set up on the machine, where the legs are located, and it's telling you that you push the platform that you're sitting on backwards. The second uh, one down here shows you how many adjustments are made on the machine. This machine has two adjustments. One is for the back, the uh, angle of the back the seat, and the other is the uh, positioning of the platform. It will also give you a 
description of how you're supposed to set up the machine. It's a little hard to read. It's in small, very small caps, but, and it will discuss the motion that you do on the machine. So all of those things are, are available. Anything on a Cybex machine which has a yellow marker on it means there's some kind of an adjustment that you have to make to the machine. These two adjustments here are where you adjust the weight. And the increments are in 20 pounds and they range from 30 pounds all the way down to 490. So I'm gonna select 90 pounds on here. Most people in Teleco Village can do 90 pounds. Now the next jump for weight is 110 pounds. So right now this is set on zero and I can, I can go to 95 pounds by turning this clockwise and there's a five showing here now. I can turn it to 10, so I'd have 100 pounds. And I can turn it to 15, I'd have 105 pounds. Then my next jump would be to go to the 110 and bring this back to zero. So that's how you adjust the weight on all of the Cybex machines. So with regard to the seat and the platform, there are two adjustments. We'll look at the back adjustment first. Again, anything on a Cybex machine in yellow means there's an adjustment. So I pull this out and this seat goes up and down. And during the course of the weight equipment orientation, we'll be able to show you what number you should be using on this to adjust the machine. But yellow means adjustment and this is what adjusts the seat. This is the second adjustment that we would do on the Cybex leg press machine. And again, yellow means there's an adjustment. And th these numbers go from one to five. So when I lift this up, this will move backwards and forwards. And I'm gonna set this on two, and this is locked out on two. So there are two adjustments to do this machine. One is the back adjustment, and the other is the platform adjustment. I happen to have number three on the platform and number three on the back. What I want to show you now is how to properly position yourself to do the exercise. So I'm going to bring my legs up to a 90 degree angle with my feet shoulder width apart and have my legs parallel with my body. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to push off my feet, exhaling, pushing back all the way, but not locking my knees out. I don't want to lock the joints out. I want them a little bit flexible. I'm going to hold there a second and I'm going to come forward slowly. And I don't want to hear the weight stack touch down. You do not want to use momentum using these exercises. What you want to do is exhale and push back on a count of two, hold a second, and come forward slowly on a count of four without the weight stack touching down. One, two, hold. One, two, three, four. Now the biggest mistake people make on these machines is they make, there are a bunch of them, they don't use the full range of motion. Some people get on here and do this. That's not properly exercising your leg muscles. And remember this machine is doing your hamstrings, your quadriceps, and your gluteus maximus. So you want to use the full range of motion to get the benefit of the workout. The other mistake people make, and it's mostly men, they use too much weight on here. You don't want to use too much weight. You can injure yourself doing that. In addition to our Cybex strength training machines, we can also do strength training with dumbbells. We're looking at the dumbbell rack that contains dumbbells that go from 12 and a half pounds all the way up to 75 pounds. Now I can tell you this, there aren't very many Teleco villagers that are using weights between 50 and 75 pounds, but we have them just in case you get really strong. The other set of dumbbells we have are the lighter weight dumbbells that go from one pound up to 10 pounds. The objective of using these dumbbells is the same as it would be with the Cybex machine, and that's to exercise all major muscle groups throughout the full range of motion. And what we have on the wall here are three charts which show all of the dumbbell exercises for each body part. It shows you the starting position and the ending position for each dumbbell exercise. And those charts will allow you to do a full body exercise workout with dumbbells.
Next challenge is standing on unstable platforms to challenge your balance. This is an Airx pad. It's a two inch thick foam rubber pad. And you simply stand on this and do the same thing you did standing on the floor with one foot up and then raising your arm up. It is much more difficult to hold this balance when you're standing on an unstable platform, but this does eventually improve your balance. Another really good challenge to, ba challenge to balance are, the, are inflatable discs. And you would simply step up on these like you did on an Airx pad. And these are more of a challenge. Right away, you can see my feet moving back and forth. And I've got a lot of muscles engaged here to maintain my balance. And then I can raise my arms like this. And can I get real fancy and bring one leg up? Maybe after a lot of work, I can do that. But it takes some work to get to that position. The other thing I can do on these pads is add in some strength training and some cardio by doing squats. This is a really difficult exercise. It's a more advanced exercise, but again, it's, it's progression. And if you do 10 of these, your heart rate will go up, you're getting leg strength training, and you're getting tremendous balance training also. Here is another unstable platform to challenge your balance with progressive balance exercises. This is called the BOSU wall. So to step up on here, you can see how this is challenging my balance. It's making me move around and working to, working to stay where I am. I can move my arms up then to challenge it more. And I can go to standing on one leg, which is very difficult on the BOSU wall. But progressively, you can get better at your balance by challenging yourself on these unstable platforms. I can also add weights into this, just like I did with the inflatable disc, where I hold the weight and I do squats. I'm working my legs, I'm getting cardio. This is hugely challenging to balance. Again, you're not going to be doing this the first day you do the balance exercises, but it's a goal to work toward. Cardiovascular training is done at the Wellness Center by using elliptical trainers and treadmills. And by the way, all of our machines have a very easy to learn, easy to use workout pad. And of course, we also have recumbent bikes and upright bikes. We will show you how to adjust and use these machines during the course of weight equipment orientation. Flexibility and stretching is also an important part of your fitness program. A good stretching program can avoid many problems, particularly back, shoulder, and neck pain. This is our stretching area. You will see to my right is an elevated platform where you can do your stretching, or you can simply go down on the floor and use the mat. The objective here is to stretch all major muscle groups after your workout, not before your workout, but after your workout. Stretching exercise charts are on the wall and show you how to stretch every muscle. We're over in the corner of the wellness center by the stretching area and we're looking at our ergometer. This machine provides exercise when you can't use your legs. It will give you shoulder, arms, and cardio workout. Many people use the ergometer to rehab after shoulder, leg surgery, or heart procedures. Two years ago, Timeless Teleco Foundation founded an athletic program trainer from Tennessee Orthopedic Clinics. We refer to them as TOC. They are present at the Wellness Center five days a week. The TVPOA budget has since funded this and continues this program for all property owners. You do not have to be a member of recreation to use this service. To my knowledge, Teleco Village is the only senior citizen complex in the United States that has personal trainer available to all its property owners. I will let Gina, our TOC athletic trainer, explain to you the details of this program. Tennessee Orthopedic Clinics the Timeless Teleco Foundation and the Teleco Village Recreation Department have partnered to provide free injury assessment to anybody who is a Teleco Village property owner and employees. Do you have an injury to a bone, muscle, or joint?
TOC injury assessment may be just the thing for you. Over the past year, we've been able to see and evaluate over 500 individuals living with Intelico Village. To schedule TOC injury assessment with a certified and licensed athletic trainer, please visit www.schedulepoa.com and select TOC injury assessment. This service is available Monday through Friday at the Wellness Center. Part of our initiative with the TOC Injury Assessment Program is to bring educational seminars to the members of Teleco Village. Keep an eye out for physician talks and seminars coming soon. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you at WEO.